uh, gas liquid two phase line sizing concept in previous video I have discussed the concept of uh, single phase gas line sizing okay so here we have another topic this one okay so for a two phase gas line sizing actually in like a process engineer process engineer use api 14e api 14e guidelines or company in house guide, guidelines or good engineering practices to do the two phase gas line sizing okay the concept of two phase gas line sizing is based on the erosion velocity erosion velocity ve which is given by c by square root of rho m erosion velocity means the velocity of fluid above uh, at which or above which the erosion in the pipeline start happening so normally the two phase gas line size uh, gas, gas line velocity the fluid velocity inside gas line uh, two phase gas line should be kept below ve means the erosion velocity we call it erosion velocity okay so c is a factor and rho m is a mixer density mixture of gas and liquid okay that density and ve from this formula comes in feet per second okay where rho m is in lb per feet cube in fps unit okay so now the first question is how to calculate the rho m so is a mixture density so simply if we know uh, the fraction of the liquid and the gas then it is very easy to calculate rho m rho m let's say we have 60 percent gas so 0.6 into the gas density okay rosy plus and remaining 40 percent is liquid so 0.4 into rho l this is one way to calculate and the formula given in the api is rho m equal to in fps unit one two four zero nine multiply by s l and p which is operating pressure plus 2.7 r s z this s z this s l is the liquid specific gravity and s z is the gas specific gravity and p which is operating pressure divided by 198.7 p plus r t z okay if you have high cis you can directly get this value from the high cis the mixture density okay so here the one factor you know this z compressibility factor you know t operating temperature r you know this r is here gas liquid ratio r here is gl r gas liquid ratio which is in feet cube per barrel barrel at stp okay so one barrel 
equal to 159 point something liter okay or 42 gallon us gallon so remaining factor you know very well so you can calculate the mixer density now the terms comes to c which is c factor c factor for a solid free fluid like if the our two phase fluid don't have any solid right and it is for continuous services we use c factor 100 and for a solid free fluid right uh, for intermittent services we can use it to up to 250 where we have a provision of uh, like corrosion emitter injection or the material is corrosion resistant so we can go up to 250 for intermittent services not a continuous and c equal to we can go up to 150 for continuous services where the metal is metal of the pipe is corrosion resistant we can use 150 okay normally we use 100 for a new two phase line sizing equation okay now from this we can calculate the ve erosion velocity by using like 150 we can use here and the mixture density we can use by calculating it okay so from here the velocity we need to maintain this velocity greater than minimum 10 feet per second to minimize the slugging of a separator equipment particularly for a long lines with elevation changes now slugging normally where the in flow industry let's say we have this is a crown uh, gaze and this is our wing valve this is our uh, choke valve and this is our ssv and let's say this is our sc ssv okay so this downstream of the choke wall now this goes to and connect to the manifold this is flow line so flow line for downstream of the choke wall this is the choke wall right and from here this two phase the two phase is already there here even in this is a multi-phase and normally here is a two phase let's say two phase two phase get flow here so in this two phase actually now this is going to connect to some separator here so to avoid slugging in this separator we want to keep the velocity more than 10 feet per second okay that ensure the slip ratio is one between the gas and the liquid okay if the velocity is more than 10 feet per second okay so if the velocity is less than 10 feet per second so that may cause slugging in the separator because slugging means the abrupt a, a, a bunch of liquid is coming in a certain frequency into the slug catcher or separator that is called slugging okay so do you understand this concept okay now we know the velocity from this above equation v equal to c upon square root of rho m now from this we can calculate the minimum required minimum required area of a pipeline 
okay so a minimum equal to 9.35 this is also an fps unit plus jrt divided by 21.25 into p the whole divided by ve so from here we'll get it in inch per thousand barrel per day flow that means this cross section area required is for the q equal to thousand bpd flow barrel per day flow okay so if your flow is more accordingly you can multiply it and get a factor let's say this is for this one for this q1 is this one and a1 is this one and your flow is q2 is something x bpd actual so it is a2 so you can just divide and get the value so q2 by q1 equal to a2 by a1 so imply that q2 equal to q1 a2 by a1 so if this is more um, q2 so uh, sorry so we want uh, to know something different actually see here actually we want to get a2 so what will be the a2 so a2 will be a1 q2 by q1 so that means if q2 is greater than q1 so a2 will be greater than a1 in this way you can calculate the required area for your uh, line so once you know the area minimum required area so you can calculate like pi by 4 into d square where d is the pi pi d so d equal to the square root of 4 a upon pi so if you use fps unit it will come in fps unit right so if area is in feet square so it will come in feet if it is in inch square it will come in inch okay so now the question is you need to calculate the pressure drop in a two-phase pipeline so pressure drop in two-phase pipeline piping or pipeline okay so delta p equal to point this is empirical formula in fps unit we can use it 336 f moody friction factor w square divided by d keep power 5 rho m okay mixture density now omega actually omega or w w is total flow rate total mass flow rate mass flow rate mass flow rate total means gas plus liquid in lb per hour okay so uh, we have an empirical formula for this also so by using this formula in fps unit you will get the pressure drop in psi okay and here like um, we have empirical formula for this mass flow rate also so 3180 qz where qz in mmscfd sg is a specific gravity plus 14.6 ql is a barrel per day liquid and sl is a specific gravity of liquid so if you take this value is a mmm cfd and this value in bpd barrel per day and the specific gravity have no units okay so you will get this 
in lb per hour okay so now for a two phase line you got pressure uh, velocity uh, erosion velocity calculation okay and you got the minimum required diameter from a minimum to we can calculate d and from here from this you got the pressure drop so you got all three values now based on your required flow rate or total mass flow rate you can check whether your delta p is within your allowable range or not if it is more than your allowable range reduce the initial size uh, reduce the size of the pipe sorry if it is not it is beyond the allowable range then the d value should be increased okay so that's the way how we do the two phase line sizing someday uh, in a future video i will explain you the multi-phase piping or pipeline sizing concept okay so in next video i will explain you a small concept of pipe wall thickness calculation now i we have learned the all three concept of like a single phase liquid phase and uh, i have explained in previous videos single phase liquid and the liquid phase and here two phase so three uh, phase of the pipe sizing uh, is already discussed so now how to uh, it is not a work of a process engineer but i want to tell you how to calculate the thickness of piping or pipe based on the internal working pressure okay so in next video i will explain you that till then bye bye